Hello friends, welcome back to our channel. So in the previous session, we have started the double linked list. So where every node will have a two links, one holds the address of the previous node and another will holds the address of the next node. So that's why it is called as a double linked list. So there we have already covered two operations that is how to create the link uh, uh, double linked list and how to display the nodes of a double linked list. In this session, we will go with the another operation called insertion. So, which we have seen in the single linked list and circular linked list. So, insertion, all the three cases, that means uh, inserting the element at the beginning, inserting the element at the ending, and inserting the element at specific location, at specified location. Right. Let us start the session. double linked list right now so let us say take one uh, linked list and then we will uh, trace the logic see let us have see it will be having a two links the forward link and the backward link Let us take the three nodes first. Let us consider only the three nodes. So the address of this node is 1000, address of this node is 2000, address of this node is 3000. So let it be 10, 20 and 30. So here the previous there is no element so it is null. The next element address that is 2000. The previous element address 1000. The next element address 3000. The previous element address 2000 and next there is a last node so it will be filled with null and this is the tail and this one is the head right now the question is if you want to add an element that means insert an element at the beginning position see so we will uh, again draw this one Right. Oh, sorry right let us draw here so this is the insertion the insertion first at beginning insertion at beginning so if you want to add this one see add the element so for this, first we have to allocate the memory dynamically. That's the common thing. U is equal to struct node star malloc size of struct node. Right. Now a memory is allocated for the new. So let it be some 500. 500 okay now so this one is a previous data next and this is the new this is the new now see I'll write here itself okay this is a new now what we have to do first we have to read an element so Scan F percentage D ampersand value. So a value is inserted. So let it be some five. The value read from the keyboard is five. So first step is just place the value in the data. So the new of data is equal to value. So automatically five will be placed here. Right. Hope you understood this one. Then we have to fill the previous node and the next node. So this is if you insert an element in the beginning, the previous node will be 
null. So new of previous is equal to null. So automatically here we can place null. Next, what should be stored in the next address field? So here the address of head should be placed. So new of next is equal to head. So automatically thousand will be stored here. So a link will be stored here. Now the reverse link also to be connected. That means head of previous. So this is a previous data next. Head of previous should holds the address of new. So head of previous is equal to new. So after executing this one, this null will be replaced with the address of new that is 500. So hope you understood this one. Right? Now we have to move the head because here, so uh, whenever you place this one automatically another link, uh, the reverse link will also be connected, established. Now here this is the second element. Now head is pointing to the second element. So we have to move the head from to the first element. So head is equal to a new. That means here head will be replaced with, I mean head will be moved to new. Right? So this is a simple logic for inserting an element at the beginning of a double linked list. Right? So here we have to take care about the address we have to store in the previous field and address to be stored in the next field. So that means for every node there must be two connections. One to the previous, another to the next. That should be remember carefully. Right. Right. Hope you understood this one. It's a very simple logic. Now let us move with the another case. If you want to insert the element at the last, that means end. See. Second one. Ending. So just we will uh, erase all these things. Okay. We'll erase all these things. Let it be the first node. So null should be placed here. And this is the head. And that is the tail. Now, if you want to insert the element at the end, that means here we have to place. Right. Here we have to place. So this is a new node. This is a new node. So whenever you allocate the memory, some memory will be allocated here. Some 500 or 4000, whatever it may be. 4000 is a memory allocated for this node. Now we have to read the value. So if you read the value some 40, right? If you read the value some 40, so first place the value new of data is equal to value. Automatically 40 will be placed here because this is the data previous and next. Now we have to establish the connection between the previous tail node and the newly inserted node. Right. Now see. So as if you insert a node, that will be the last node because we are inserting the node at the end position. So this is the last node. So if it is a last node, then we know that the next field, the address field, the next address field should be initialized to null because it doesn't point to any other node. So new of next is equal to null new of next is equal to null then what about the previous one new of previous so it should be it should hold the address of previous node what is the previous node tail so the new of previous is equal to tail so here uh, null and after executing this one new of previous is equal to tail this 3000 will be here. So a link will be established here. Right? 
and one more statement should be written because the reverse connection also to be established because here tail of previous is null that means it doesn't holds the address of the last one so it should hold the address of last one so that's why what is the field here tail of next so previously sorry previously it is null so with which we have to replace with the new value so the new value is replaced so here the null will be replaced with the address of new that is Place. right it's 4000 so automatically a link is established here itself right so hope you understood now we have to move the tail because tail is assigned to the last but one so we have to change the tail so tail is equal to new automatically here the tail will be replaced and here it will be allocated right so this is a small logic simple logic for inserting an element at the end position so if you draw this one and if you trace one by one automatically the code will be very simple right sorry now let us move on with the third case that is inserting the node at specific location Third one, specified position, right. So here we need to uh, read the two inputs, one is the value, other one is the position. Right now uh, we have to read uh, one more thing that is a position, position. So let us take the position 2 and the element is 25. Right? The element is 25 at the position 2. So here we have to insert this 25 at the position 2. So <coughs> here the position of this one is 0, 1 and 2. So here we have to insert the node. Right. So first of all, let us travel this one to, to that position. So assign temp is equal to head. So initially the temp will be here. For i is equal to 0, i less than position minus 1, i plus plus, we need to move the temp from one node to another node. Temp is equal to temp of next. So, for after first iteration, the temp will be moved to here. The temp will be moved here. Right? Now, after the second iteration, the condition fails, comes out from the loop. Now we have to replace all these things. So first we will place the data. So new of data is equal to value. That means here 25 will be placed. So this is the new. This is the new. So 25 will be placed in the value. Next, we have to place the new of next. New of next. So new of next. So what, what uh, should be filled here? New of next should be 3000, which is nothing but temp of next. Right? Don't get confused. New of next, that means it holds the address of the next, next element. What's the next element? 30. What's the address of 30? 3000, which is nothing but temp of next. So simply we can write temp of next. Then, so here we can have 3000 okay here we can have a 3000 now we have to replace this one this one because this should be uh, i mean let, let it be the address will be 2500 here so what about this one 
temp of next of previous is equal to temp of next means 3000 3000 previous 2000 is equal to here it should be new so 2500 okay so it it maps here okay it maps here now we have to replace this one what is this one so new of previous new of previous okay the new of previous must be filled with temp of previous okay the temp of previous so or we can re simply replace this one see temp of next here it should map the it should point the address of new so here we can write temp of next temp of next is equal to new simply here we can get 2500 okay it maps here okay now what should be placed here it should hold the address of previous node what is the address of previous node 2000 what is the 2010 so new of previous is equal to temp new of previous is equal to temp that means here the temporary variable the temporary variable means 2000 so 2000 will be placed here in this position so okay so this is how we have to write the code for inserting the element at the specific position okay so first uh, we have to allocate the memory for the new and then we have to read the value we have to read the position and then we have to travel up until the position minus one and then so this is the new node so we have to fill the new of previous new of data new of next so here first new of data is equal to value so 25 will be printed i mean uh, stored there then new of next what is the new of next it, it should hold the address of the next one what is the address of the next one is 3000 which is nothing but temp of next so temp of next next temp of next of previous that means this this field should be executed i mean next the previous field of next node should be holding the new so temp of next of previous temp of next is 3000 3000 of previous is 2500 is equal to this position is equal to new new means 2500 so 2500 will be replaced next temp of next temp of next means this field should be replaced so before it is allocated with the next one that is 3000 so temp of next is equal to new so 2500 will be replaced now new of previous what about the new of previous new of previous is equal to temporary so 2000 will be stored right so hope you understood this one so don't get confused simply draw the diagram draw the notes so that uh, everything will be clear right so if you are having any doubts regarding this session feel free to post your doubts in the comment section so that definitely i will try to clarify all your doubts and if you really understood my sessions like my sessions share my sessions with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to our channel keep following thanks for watching thank you very much